poop, water, clean, feed, poop, water, clean again. You are a mess, Mr. Rusty, but you look very handsome today. You guys are probably ready to come outside, huh? Hey, dude. How are you, sir? You get angry, you just have to breathe, okay? Count to 10, maybe walk away from the situation. Stay there. Whoa! Typical. King Cobra. He's getting bigger. He wasn't eating pinkies when I got him. There you go. God. Dude, Alex, you're watching. Thank you, bro. Going, would you shift up? I am trying to speak. What's going on, guys? How the heck are you doing, my dudes? And my dudettes? And my all the in between things we got going on? How's everybody doing? Dude, holy crap. You guys are probably ready to come outside, huh? It's just so crappy out here. It's nice right now, but man. The weather has been crazy over here, guys. Like, it's been down in like the 50s raining the next day it'll be 80 during the day like it's probably it's probably 85 degrees out right now and then tonight's gonna get down to 50 and it's gonna rain again dude it's crazy especially having to move the animals inside and outside so many freaking times it gets cold one night warm the next night it's just completely bipolar and we have no idea what's going on right now would you guys please stop please i'm begging you please oh so you try to attack me huh bro i have to take care of you. Stop. Man, they are crazy. We got snake room stuff to do today, so rest assured, guys, you won't have to hear any birds screaming anymore right now. So the snake room is coming together slowly. It's still a little bit of a mess right now. I just got all these new lights in yesterday, finally, from Amazon, so now we can finish doing all these cages. But everybody is doing great. We just got lots of poops. Lots of sheds. These guys, you gotta change their water bowl every stinking day right now just because they're in these just temporary enclosures until we build them some big outdoor stuff. This little black dragon I'm probably gonna keep in here for a while though because he is not very socialized at all. So I really want to make sure that we keep some of the lizards in here, especially having them at this level. Head height, I can open up the cage. He doesn't really have anywhere to hide in here. So I can hopefully get him to try to eat put my hands soon. I'll slowly but surely get him to trust me. But yeah, it's hard keeping them in these cages just because they move around and do crazy things all day. Their waters, as soon as you clean them, they're freaking filthy. They love the water. Brandon's cleaning all these little guys. Got that little baby blue and Solaris right there. And he just did all the eyelashes. Four eyelashes now, right? Four? Four eyelashes. Four eyelashes now. Lost another one. No idea how, man. They've all been eating great. I've been soaking them, cleaning them. I really don't know. About He's, twice a week, too. Huh? About doing it twice a week, too. Yeah, twice a week. So, weird things happen with these tiny little delicate snakes, man. They're so fragile. Just any little thing. It's not like they got cold or anything either. Especially when it gets cold at night, we keep it at 84 in here. So it's plenty warm for them. And first up on the list, my beautiful Queen Shatid, who is in shed right now. She's very cloudy looking. And her cage really isn't that dirty. There's a couple little pieces of poop and then it looks like her hide box needs to be scrubbed off because it's looking a little... Hello. Kind of remember, she's in shed. She cannot see very great. I want to be real careful. After this shed, hopefully some of that scalation on the back of her hood starts looking somewhat normal. Because it's definitely concerning all the time. I hate it. She's just such a beautiful snake. It's such a shame that that happened to her. It really bothers me sometimes. Slowly but surely. I'm going to start putting some uh, ointment on it. And just see if that helps. Uh, it's a bummer. I hate that. Uh, such a beautiful snake. Scarred up. No way out. Scrub out that water, give her some freshy. I'm gonna spot clean this cage. The other day when we put the lights in, we didn't really have time to clean everything. I wanna clean the glass, make everything look real freaking nice today before we feed everybody. And then guess what? We're just gonna have to clean poop again in just a couple more days. It's a never ending cycle, guys. You wanna keep reptiles? Just know that that's how it goes. Water, poop, clean, feed, poop, water, clean, feed, poop, water, 
clean again. It never stops. I've been doing this my whole life. Never once did I thought as a little kid working at a reptile store, cleaning snake poop for a living. Little did I know. Well, I mean, I guess it comes with keeping. I'm always gonna be a keeper. But yeah, dude, 35 years old, almost 36. Still cleaning poop every day. Voila, look how much better that looks. Freshly fluffed, poop free, clean water, clean hide box. Put it right under the heat, because that's where I like to hide. So let's get this girl out. And since she's going to the shed, you know what I'm gonna do real quick? There's something I like to do to help my animals out. You guys can do it at home also. Before your snakes shed, when they go into blue, obviously after they go into blue, their eyes clear up for about a day and then it takes maybe like 24 to 48 hours for them to shed. But if you just increase the humidity in their cage just a tiny little bit, all you gotta do is give a little tiny little spritz just like that. It really makes a difference when they're shedding. It helps them out a lot. So let's uh, see where Shatid is at. Yeah, she's just chilling at the bottom. She's being very well behaved today. She wasn't really hooding up or charging me or anything. She's chilling. Just for safety. She's pissed now. She's like, yo, dude, I'm in shit. Leave me alone. I can't see anything. But she's been getting better, man. The more she's out and handled, it's getting a little bit more used to things and not so defensive. So let's go ahead and just safely get her back in her enclosure. She's like, oh, so nice and clean. Thank you, Dad. Hey, yeah, you want to come charge me? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Stay there. Whoa! You see that? Maybe she has met. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Typical King Cobra. Some days she's nice, some days she's not. You are a mess, Mr. Rusty, but you look very handsome today. He just shed. Let's get him out, see how he's acting today. Should be a lot less irritable now that he's not in shed. Your snakes are in shed, they're just uncomfortable, you know? Oh, Rusty. How are you? My sweet man. You are so cute. I love this freaking snake, guys. He is just the best. For obvious reasons, he's getting so freaking big, dude. I love this snake. Cause dude, he's already getting too big for this six foot vision. I wanna put two six footers together, like I've said many times before, and give him a nice 12 foot cage. But eventually, dude, he's gonna need something like Kevin has. Both of them. And this room ain't big enough for that. Like, Kevin's cage, I'm not even kidding, guys, is probably more than half the size of my entire snake room. Chandler's venomous room is, dude, five times this size, maybe six times. Like, it's it's a lot bigger. Like, his shit is it's huge, man. It's awesome. I still got plenty of room on my property to put another building. And how cool would it be one day to have, like, a king palace? Like, just the room for the kings and maybe the mangs. Like, have the mangs in a huge enclosure on one side and all the king cobras in a huge enclosure on the other. I'm good with kings right now. I have my two Malaysians. Malaysians are my, you know, favorite locale. They're beautiful. My second, actually, maybe even, uh, I don't know. It's a hard battle between the Chinese cobras. Chinese cobras are freaking beautiful. So I definitely want a couple Chinese cobras in the future, but your boy needs more room. Nice and clean. New bedding. Scrub the water bowl. New water. Clean the glass. Bada bing. Bada boom. Get rusty out. Oh, you're at the top. Okay. You at the top, dog. I need Uncle Pepe to come over here and bring me some god dang snakes, man. Thank God we know Rusty likes to eat chicken now. Yeah, man, we need some more freaking snakes, dog. It's not even like I could just go hunting and catch some Burmese pythons, because then we have to put them in the freezer for like three or four months to make sure that they uh, don't have any parasites or worms or any bad stuff, you know? Because I don't want Rusty getting anything. You imagine how horrible that would be? I already get super paranoid about him all the time. Like the other night I came in here, it was warm, bro. He's got a 100 watt heat light on his cage. I keep it in the 80s in here during the day because a lot of other stuff doesn't have heat on their cages. So I keep it nice and warm in here. And he was doing some weird like breathing thing with his mouth. I don't know if maybe he got aspen in his mouth or something somehow, or I have no idea, but it scared the crap out of me. As soon as it happened, my like heart went right into my butt, man. <sighs> All right, so now I gotta grab some gloves because I'm gonna take Bruce out because when I was handling Cammy the other day, she got me in the hand really good, man. These monitors have crazy sharp claws and they just light you up real bad. And I tattoo every day, so I have to wash my hands with freaking alcohol a bunch of times a day. And dude, it's, it sucks, that cut in there. And right now, it's time for Bruce Bruce. I'm a little scared. <laughs> oh, see how he's gonna act today. Sometimes he's good, sometimes he lets me touch him, sometimes he doesn't let me touch him, sometimes he, oh, he always takes things pretty gently as far as feeding goes. When we were moving him in here, he actually like charged me mouth open, tried to me. That'd be terrible. So let's see how he's gonna be today. Hi, dude. Hey, Bruce. I gotta change all of your bedding and clean your enclosure. I know that you are not very happy about it and that you don't want me to do it, but 
You don't really have a choice, my dude, okay? Because it's a disaster in there. You really messed up that chicken and there's feathers all over the place. And we just got to get this straightened up a little bit, okay? Because it's a little concerning. I really don't want to be whipped in the face because your friend Cammy whipped me in the face the other day. That wasn't really much fun. Let me just uh, slowly get his ass out of here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. Once I normally get him to about here, he's pretty good. Don't worry about him. Relax, relax, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Shhh. Goosh, rubber. When you get angry, you just have to breathe, okay? Don't live in fear. Just take a second, breathe it out. Count to ten, maybe walk away from the situation, and you'll calm down. I don't really think that works with lizards very much. He's not happy. Put him in here. Got the top on upside down. That's uh, pretty. There we go. Oh god, so much fun all the time, every day. It's another adventure. Let's clean this cage. Looking real clean in there. I got the rattlesnakes next. I gotta put Bruce back. Use these gloves. I don't use these gloves for venomous snakes anymore. If you guys have not noticed, I literally only use them for Took, the macaw. He bites the crap out of me. So I use it for him and the monitors. But they've just like so much wear and tear with these hex armor gloves. These gloves are freaking awesome. Every now and then I'll still make maybe hold like the baby Gabino and like little stuff that I know like this glove isn't really compromised. But this one right here, you can see, my dog, one of those little wieners, got a hold of the glove and put a hole in that one, so you want to be really careful. Always make sure you check your tools and what you're using before you go handle anything super dangerous, because all it takes is a freaking fang to go through one of those holes. Not good. So let's take Bruce out. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't freak out right away. Let's see. Hi, dude. You're just going to open your mouth with that thing. It's okay. Okay. And right in the cage. Just like that. So easy. Bro, I cleaned your cage. I got you new water and I got you food. We're gonna feed you here in a second. Just gotta clean a couple more cages, alright? Let's get these rattlesnakes out. Gotta clean their stuff. They got poop all over the freaking place in there. And then I got two jumbo rats defrosting. Once we're done cleaning all these cages, we're gonna feed everybody also. Can you guys hear that rain? Yeah, I know you can. That's what I'm saying. This weather lately has been atrocious. It was beautiful out this morning. Sun was out, 80 degrees. You guys saw at the beginning of this video, it was beautiful. Now, black outside and pouring. And then we're getting another cold front. Yay, I love that. All right, so let's get these guys out carefully. Robin is right here. I'm gonna keep my distance. Get that loop right here. Slowly get her out. There we go. You, just like that. Batman is in the front. I got rats in here defrosting, so I'm sure they can smell. I'm surprised he hasn't struck yet. He knows that there's food in here. Gotta be real careful. Got one behind me and one in front of me. Excuse me, sir. I am not food. You guys have a crazy appetite. It's getting huge. Look at that. Gotta keep an eye on her. Make sure he is dealt with safely as well. Freaking gigantic. So stinking heavy, even with this hook. Carefully putting him in here, watch the rattle, watch my female's head, okay? Keep eye on both of them. Keep down, all right. Secured, hook on the bin, just like that. Let's get it clean. Put them back, and then I'm gonna feed them too. So I'm only gonna put one away at a time, feed them separately, clean some more cages, and then feed the rest of the room. Turn around, put her there. Make sure she goes in her cage and doesn't turn around. Batman, excuse me, sir, you stay down there. Make sure that's closed. Her head is right there. Just gotta keep an eye on these things at all times, guys. We got some big old jumbo rats in here. I know that she's going to that back corner. Dry it off a little bit. Make sure I'm keeping an eye on her so I don't get bit. See if we can get a strike. Come on, girl. Eat. Eat that thing. She's been weird lately. Normally she like freaking strikes. She's such a good eater. She's been real picky. All right, I'm just gonna leave that there. Check on that later. Batman is definitely hungry because he was coming out of the cage earlier. So he should take it right away. Actually, crap. That rat is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna switch him around. Take this rat out. 
Because she hasn't even, she hasn't even bit this thing or not. So I'm gonna take this one out. This one's a little bit bigger. Take this to Batman, it's right here. There we go. Put that down. Let him eat in peace. Grab this other one for her. Let's dry it off a little bit. That right there for her. Hopefully she eats it. We just cleaned that black monitor's cage. He did not like that very much. <laughs> Cammy, maybe you want some food. Do you like some food? You like some? Look, right here. It's right here. Mmm. Delicious. There you go. God. Dude, Alex, you're watching. Thank you, bro. She's great. I love her. She's awesome, man. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at that freaking yellow on her. She's just so gorgeous, man. And she's just a normal man. Normal water monitor. Pretty sure she's a Suriname locality. Are they get a little bit bigger than the other guys. Mm. Got rat juice on my face. Probably gonna give her three of them. Give her some treats. Like I said, almost three, I think. So dude, she's gonna get like three times the size. She's gonna be gigantic. Maybe down the road, maybe find her a boyfriend. She's just so awesome. Super blessed to have her. She's such a beautiful animal. I'm so well-mannered. I don't have any more food for you, baby. That's it. That's all I got. I'll give you some more tomorrow, okay? Let's go clean Kilo. He is dirty. Dirty, dirty man. He's not good today. Hey, dude. How are you, sir? You only get about maybe a minute of him hooding up like this and standing at attention before he just loses interest and realizes that he's out of his cage and just chills out. So let's go ahead. Put him down in here. I'm gonna keep his focus on Braden. Put him down in here. This cage nice and clean. And then it's time to start feeding some stuff. We'll we'll do all this little stuff off camera because it's gonna take a while. We got a lot of stuff to do. We gotta get a good cage, like a whole cage count soon. Let's see how many freaking snakes I got set up in here now. It's getting there. Slowly but surely, step by step. B dog is putting Kilo back. It's so nice being able to see where he is at every single time. So I'm not yeah, that's no, awesome. Rely on doing that. Hello, sir. How are you? Noise. Noise, noise. He's so hissy. Oh, man, that glass is so clean, you didn't even see it. <laughs> there we go. Good job. We got some shed and some poop in this rain hall. So, let's take him out. Give him some fresh water. Look, it looks like a hole stuck to the thing. Oh, yeah, look, it's a full shed. That's really cool. Give that to G. You know what she's gonna do. Yeah, that's a full one. Head and everything, eye caps, everything's right there. Like that's an eye cap right there. That's the head. Super cool. Put that to the side. Get this little psycho out. He's got a couple little pieces of poop in here that we gotta clean. Such a cool snake. Just a more venomous hognose snake, pretty much. South African spitting cobra, quote unquote, not a true cobra. He's actually being great today. Look how beautiful that hood is. Orange and peach and like almost pinks. Super, super, super pretty. Let's go ahead and put him in here. Clean his cage real quick. Give him some new water and let's feed everybody. Get him back. Of course, now he's fired up. Relax, man. I gotta be careful too, because I have a lot of cuts all over me from the monitors. Oh, man. That just got me. Gotta be real careful. Yeah, because even just these cuts, you know, it's still open skin. Like, if I were to get venom in that cut right there, not good. Feeding time. Let's feed you slow. Do you like a medium rat, sir? Look, this way, other way. Hey, excuse me, sir. See, these are just the cobras. Their eyesight is pretty terrible, honestly. That's why he just hoods up and does this thing until he smells the rat and then he bites it. That's a good size rat for him, though. Delicioso. You're welcome, my son. Oh, drop the keys. Gabby, you're due for a meal. Let's see how you're gonna be. Are you gonna strike at me before you let me in your feature? Medium rat for Gabby. No, it's not. Serious freaking snake, look at that. She just holds on. Those fangs are an inch and a half into that rat, man. No bueno. Imagine getting bit by that thing. No thanks. I'm good. Stay on the safe side of things. You know what else we got right now that I haven't shown you guys? Probably make a short with him soon. Is this cute little eastern coral snake. My brother's neighbor actually caught him in his garden in Boca. Brought him over here because I didn't know what to do with him. So I'm trying to figure it out. I'm either gonna get him to eat and keep him or Take him to the uh, preserve. Let him go somewhere really far away from people. Somewhere nice and safe where he can live out the rest of his life, hopefully. We got the little Gabino, my male, who is growing. And uh, look at that, dude. 
crazy, man. What a freaking awesome little snake, dude. He's such a good eater. I love how they hold their freaking prey up like that. It's just so cool. He's getting bigger. He was eating pinkies when I got him, and now he's eating a hopper. Definitely putting on some size. Next up, these little spitters. Gotta be real careful. They are fiery little guys. Also eating hoppers now. Got another one right here. Oh yeah, another hopper. There we go. Now we got our little tiny Russell's Viper. Been giving him day olds, and this is a fuzzy, but uh, you should be able to slam that thing down, dude. Such a cool snake. I love their pattern. Just a whole bunch of circles on them. So stinking cool. What else we got? All right, we got these baby Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes. Want to be careful opening up these guys just because they are rattlesnakes and they will come flying out of here if you're not freaking careful. Looks like this one is a little bit opaque, so she's probably in shed. They're not really much eaters on camera, so I'm just going to put that guy just like that. She will eat it here in a second. Got our other little guy. Oh, look at that. We got a nice fresh shed. Little baby Eastern shed. That's cool. And then let's give you a hopper also. Chandler's girlfriends. This one just bit it. So, oh look, you can hear it rattle now. <laughs> That's a first. They haven't been able to rattle because they're so stinking small. That's awesome. And then we got our little beaded. We got our little bead lizard. I love that little guy. Baby beads are adorable. And my buddy Steven Jelly just called me actually the other day, tattooing him in Daytona. And he's sending me another baby bead lizard that he said is beautiful. So stay tuned for that video. It might be getting another baby. It's a surprise. I don't know what it's gonna look like, but he said it's one of the prettiest ones that he's got. So let's see how Steve pulls through. Got our indigo snakes. Don't mind this freaking mess over here. We didn't clean these guys yet either, so we gotta go through this whole rack. I got a tattoo here today, so Brandon's gonna go through this whole rack and just get everything nice and clean. Let's give you some fresh water real quick. I don't wanna mess with them because, you know, that might be the reason why Robin isn't eating right now. Just because I cleaned her cage before I tried feeding her. Batman's pretty resilient with that, but Robin's a little bit more sensitive. This right here is a juvenile indigo. There you go. Oh, there you go. Nice, nice, nice. Get some more rat. These guys are getting big. Waiting on some more five foot enclosures from Vision. You need some water too. There you go. Oh, 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 chase it, chase it down. Dry Marcon, they eat so much, man. I try to feed them twice a week because they just have such a fast metabolism. They eat and poop so much, it's crazy. This is my smallest indigo snake right here. This is that small red phase female. You can see, I don't want to mess her around with her too much, but look how much she is growing. She's definitely putting on size real quick. She was eating pinkies when I got her too, and now she's up to hoppers. Move her so I don't crush her. There we go. This needs to be cleaned out too, but not too bad. We'll get to that soon. How are you doing, sweetheart? You gonna eat? Look, at dude, she's getting so much better. This is that hognose snake that wasn't eating for a long time, and it was really hard to get her back on food. Now she's just taking down food like an absolute champ. Super thankful for that. I was gonna brewmate her and breed her this year, but she was just way too on the skinny side. I didn't want to go ahead and put her in the freezer and risk her not surviving the winter. You guys are paying the bucks. Let's put that right up here. Feed the rest of these guys. And then we got a couple more big stuff to feed. This is my female gabino. Oh, wow. You got rat juice on my face. Oh. Did you hear that crunch? Yeah, it is super crunchy. Look at her force. Dude, she's just forcing her jaws down. She's shaking crazy. Not something you want to mess with at all. Rattlesnakes. And then I got to feed a couple of those monitors. I got a nice big rat for Bruce. We got to feed those mangshams. I gotta do. Got trick Hopefully I can trick them. Got some chicken broth. Do the old chicken broth trick. Boom, boom, boom. These guys are so easy to feed right here. These rattlesnakes are just like lunatics. They are bottomless pits. They just eat and eat and eat. Watch this one's gonna strike as soon as they open up the cage. Ready? Yeah. I know my snakes. Every time. This one too. But we didn't do that one on camera when I cleaned it. Penny. Got you next. There's already heat in all of these pages right here, in all these sections. But I'm gonna rewire absolutely everything. This enclosure, this tower thing, I don't even remember where the hell I got it. I've probably had it for 15 years. It's made out of wood. It's super heavy. I was gonna sell it, but it's just so dang heavy, I don't really care to do it because moving this thing has been an absolute nightmare every single time. My rank offs. Let's get this guy a little small rat. Yeah, a little tick. Just take it, just take it. Why do you gotta be so aggressive, huh? Why do you gotta just be a lunatic? Ready? Safe. All right, let's feed some lizards. Look at how filthy this cage is already. Well, we cleaned it an hour ago. Would you like to take some food from me with your tongue? Would you like to trust me? Yeah? Look, smell it. It's food. It's yummy for you. Huh? You're gonna be shy on camera? I know you wanna eat. It's been a few days. I guess. He's being camera shy. I'm just gonna put a couple in there for him to eat. He'll eat it when he wants to. I have a peace offering for you, Bruce. Peace. 
means I'm sorry. It's pooping right now. Look, it's chicken. Look, you like chicken. You like this, I promise. Something that you want. Oh yeah, there you go. Happy man. I'm so sorry I had to take you out today. You don't like it, I know. Soon enough, we'll have some walk-in enclosures. That'll be freaking awesome. Joe's gonna help me build them. And then we can just walk in their enclosures and let them crawl on you and stuff. And you don't have to be so forceful with them, you know? Build a way better relationship with them. Let's give another piece to Cammy, you big girl. Give you a nice piece too, because you're probably hungry. Yes, want another piece? They're endless pits, man. Beautiful. I'll let him finish that, give him another piece. And that is it for today, guys. Appreciate y'all watching. Follow your dreams. Do what makes you happy, guys. And God bless. TylerOnTattoos.com for all the merch. Go check out my stuff. Until next time, peace out.